Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from Pinnacle Studio Pro. Today, we're doing a tutorial on the lightsaber effect. You want to get down like a Jedi? I'm going to show you how. You don't need the crazy boots, the robe with the hood. You don't need a ponytail, but you do need a lightsaber. Let's get into it. First and foremost, you want to go ahead and bring your video clip down into the timeline track. I got mine here. It's ready to go. Now, you don't have to like stand still. You can run around, do whatever the heck you want. This could be done whether you're standing still, moving around. Pretty easy to do. But one part of it takes a pretty long time. So be prepared, okay? Now, I got my clip down in the timeline track, like I said. But I need to have a lightsaber here above it. So what I'm going to do is the title creator to go ahead and make a lightsaber, uh, the laser for the lightsaber. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the track right above it to enable it. And I'm going to click on create title. What that's going to do is it's going to put a title track right above my video clip. And of course, you'll be able to see through the title to the clip below it. Your text here. Get the heck out of here. I'm going to hit the backspace button and get rid of this. It's going. All right. Next thing I need to do is I need to create my lightsaber or my laser from the lightsaber. So I'm going to go down here to the shapes tool. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to choose add vertical pill. When I do, you see a big gigantic freaking pill. I don't want a big freaking gigantic pill. Okay. I want a lightsaber. So I'm just going to go out to the side and make it the two arrows so I can resize it. I'm going to left click. I'm going to drag this in. And I'm going to make it about the width that I want my lightsaber to be. And that's pretty good right there. So now I'm going to make it so I have the cross here so I can drag this over to the middle of the screen. Because I want to start it off in the middle. I want to make sure this red dot is centered in the middle of this cross here on the title. So I know it's in the center of the screen. Next thing I need to do is I need to click on the face button. And by clicking on this, I can change the color and the blur. So I'm going to change the fill color. You can make your lightsaber whatever freaking color you want. You can have a pink one if you want. I'm going with red. So I have red. That's my fill color. I'm going to click on apply. I'm going to close that out. Now on the blur, I'm going to move my blur up to 20. So I'm going to just click on this till it turns blue. And I'm going to type 20. And hit enter. Now you can see a little bit of blur around the outside of that. Looks so beautiful, don't you agree? Now, next thing I need to do is I need to have the inside of the lightsaber. Because the inside of a lightsaber is usually like white, colorish, something like that. So I'm going to go back to the pill, to the shape tool. I'm going to left click on it. I'm going to add another vertical pill. This one already went to red, so I'm going to move this over so you can tell it went to red because it thinks I want red again, but I freaking don't. So I'm going to go ahead, back out to the side, resize it again, make it skinnier than the one before. I'll drag this over. And now so I can tell the difference between the two, I'm going to click on the fill color for this one. And I'm going to click on white in the top right corner. And I'm going to hit apply. And on this one, I'm going to make my blur 10 instead of 20. So I just click that until it turned blue. I type 10, hit enter. Want less blur on the inside than the outside. And the good thing about putting that red dot right in the middle of the crosshairs, I know where the middle is. So now I can put the red dot on this one right in the middle of the crosshairs as well. Got everything set up how I want it, so I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Now, if I drag this across, you'll see the lightsaber. There it is. How beautiful. All right. Now, you can make the white skinnier than this. You can make the red thicker. You can do whatever the heck you want with it, make it look how you want. It's all gravy. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to click on the title track. And I'm going to put my mouth on the edge so that it shows click and drag. To drag it all the way out. So that it's the same length as the clip. 
I do that because, of course, I want the lightsaber to be on the whole time the clip is on, except for when I keyframe it out, which you'll see in a minute. So now I'm going to left click on the title of the lightsaber. I'm going to right click this and I'm going to go to Open Effects Editor. Now I got Effects Editor open. I want to go ahead and see the title in the track below. So I'm going to click on the little arrow next to Solo. And I'm going to show Media and Tracks below. That way I can see myself and the lightsaber right there below it. Next thing I need to do is I need to go to 2D, 3D. Now you can use a 3D Editor CPU if you have to uh, skew it so that it looks like it's coming towards the screen. Or if you don't have anything like that, then you could just use 2D Editor Advanced. For this tutorial, I'm just going to use a 2D Editor Advanced. You can use either one. It's pretty easy to do. Now, select Preset. I need to change this from default to No Preset. And it'll go right back to the middle of the screen. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the scrubber to the position where I want the lightsaber to come out. And that looks pretty good right there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move the lightsaber into position. I'm going to move the vertical up where I want it. Horizontal over where I want it. Let's go ahead and move this to about uh, 19 is good. Horizontal, I'm going to move that to 1.1. Of course, you're going to have to use your own settings for your own stuff, okay? Now size, I'm going to change up the size of this because it's kind of big for me. So I'm going to unlock this because I want to change the horizontal. Make it a little bit smaller to fit how I like it in the lightsaber. So that's pretty good there. Rotation. Now the rotation is a big deal on this because this is how you're going to move the lightsaber to make you look like you're moving it. When you're using your keyframes all right you're going to actually use the rotation the horizontal and the vertical and if you actually are using a 3d editor cpu then you're going to use like the the x and the y to uh actually skew it to how you want it to look as well but for rotation right now i'm going to go with negative two and that should get it straight on there now i got this little thing on the bottom i don't like that the heck, man? I don't want that little thing showing on my video. So I'm going to go down to cropping. And I'm going to crop out that bottom piece. So it looks a little bit cleaner. I actually want it at a position where I can't see the bottom of the pill. I just want it to look straight. Just like that. Freaking A. Now, see, I need to move my vertical down a little bit more. It looks pretty good right there. Get my horizontal over a little bit. Looks great. And now I actually want to bring my horizontal in a little bit more. That looks freaking great, man. Freaking A. Got a freaking lightsaber there. And let's go ahead and crop out the top piece now. So if you want your lightsaber to appear, you got to make it appear. So I'm going to go ahead and crop out the top so that there is no lightsaber on my first keyframe. And that looks good right there. So now I'm going to enable keyframes. And now you'll see that on this first keyframe, there's no lightsaber. And on this keyframe, there's no lightsaber. So all this part... I don't have to worry about doing anything with the lightsaber. It's gone. So now I'm going to step. I'm not even going to step forward. I'm just going to.
click on the timeline to right here. I'm going to put a new keyframe on. And I'm just going to make my lightsaber appear. So what happens now is it makes it just appear and rise right up out of your lightsaber into position. Don't y'all like that, kids? Beautiful. Now, the rest of it is basically keyframing the horizontal, vertical, and the rotation where you need. The rest of it takes a long time if you want it to look right. So what you want to do is you want to hit the step one frame forward button. When you do, if you need to adjust anything, adjust it. I feel like I need to move this down a little bit here because I see a little red under there. So I'm going to move this down. Because down will be the other way, wouldn't it? The up is up and down is down. There you go. So now it's in position. Now I want to step forward another keyframe. Pretty good there. Can move down a little bit if I wanted to. When you're done, all you really got to do at the end is make the lightsaber go back in. And you just make it go back in by doing the same thing in the opposite direction. So here... We got the lightsaber out. If we want the lightsaber to go back in, we just go ahead and move it to a position where we want it. Of course, you got to be standing still. Couldn't be you moving like I'm moving right here. And then you just go ahead, crop out the top again, and the lightsaber will disappear again. That's it. I'm not doing all the freaking keyframes. You can do your own freaking keyframes. I already did it. And dang, it took a long time. It's going to take you a while to do it, too. If you did a lot of movement with your lightsaber, if you didn't do a lot of movement, you're not going to have a lot of keyframing to do. So if you want to keep your keyframing down, just do maybe one swing of the lightsaber or whatever. All right. If you want to make it uh, look real, you want to make it look smooth and you want to, you know, have a great video, do all the movements you want and just take the time to keyframe it all out. No other way to make it look good but to do it right the first dang time. When you're done. Click OK. And that's it. It's a wrap. You saw the demo at the beginning, okay? I can show it to you again if you want to see it again. Here it is. You crazy fools. You always want to see the demo again. Alrighty? Here's the freaking demo. Hope you like it. You saw it already. If you want to see it again, I'll show you how it go. So that's it, everybody. The lightsaber effect. Now. Mi gente. Mi people. You know the routine. All right? There's a button. The one at the bottom of this video or at the top, wherever the hell it is now. YouTube moves everything all the time. The one with the thumb pointed in the upward direction. Click it. Like it. Live it. Love it. Hug it. Leave your freaking comments, all right? I always get back to you. If I can't help you, I will point you in the right direction to get you the help that you deserve. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.